Real talk, we are what we eat. The energy of what we put into our mouths literally becomes our cellular makeup. It changes our mental state and our physical state. This is a German Bienfelder rooster. It's one of our dual purpose breeds on the farm. He is big, he is hefty. This is a lot of weight I'm holding here. It takes him five and a half months to get to maturity. And if you're someone who eats chicken, about five months until processing date. Ryan and I, back in the day, wanted to raise our own meat birds for our family. And so we got the Cornish Crosses, which are the breed that are used in any kind of commercial setting. So if you're buying chicken from the grocery store, that's what it is. It took those birds no longer than eight weeks. Some people do it 12 weeks, but eight weeks to get to processing weight. It was eye-opening and it's a loaded word, but disgusting because their bones, their hearts couldn't keep up with the speed in which they were growing. We gave the birds the best possible scenario out on pasture, beautiful like tractors, um, withdrew food when we needed because we saw that all they were doing was just sitting there and eating and not actually getting up and moving. That's what they're bred to do. Just sit and eat and eat and eat. They grew so fast that some of them died of heart attacks, even though it wasn't too hot and they had everything that they needed. Some of their legs broke because the weight was too fast. They're putting on their bodies that their skeletal structure couldn't keep up. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what we are all eating when we pick up chicken from the grocery store. That energy of just sitting, eating, 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 and also grow, grow, grow as fast as you can. I feel like so many of us are burnt out. Our nervous systems are tired. It could be because what we are putting into our bodies is that energy could go into all of the reasons why we don't want to support that kind of factory farming, why we don't want to support the breeding of birds in that way, but that's a post for another time. For today, human to human, it's about checking in with how our own bodies are feeling, what we're putting into them, and then what we're supporting from that. So think about it. Think about those choices that we make. I know I hadn't thought about it and my eyes were opened so much when I raised them for myself. It totally changed the way I consume different protein for sure. This is one of the breeds, the German Bienfelders, that we can guarantee as male or female upon hatch. If you wanna raise some of these for your family and taste what slow food is, if you do eat your own meat, we can help you. We're happy to give away males to people who wanna raise them for food for their family. Just reach out. Interested to hear what you all think about this concept of you are what you eat. Let's discuss. Let's help each other out. And let's get ourselves feeling better because Lord knows we all could use it.